Hello everyone, my name is Nashom and welcome to my channel Let's Get Psyched. In today's video, we are going to see the demonstration on the experiment Knowledge of Results. Knowledge of Results is an experiment based on learning. In this particular experiment, the task that is going to be done is to draw a 10 cm line by being blindfolded. Okay, so we want to see whether giving feedback is going to improve performance. The hypothesis of this experiment is that with an increasing degree of knowledge of result, there will be reduction in the number of errors made in judgment. There are four conditions in this particular experiment. Condition one includes no feedback and condition four will have exact feedback. So we're going to see with increasing degree of feedback whether performance improves or not. So this is my subject Renelle and she's going to be taking part in this experiment. To begin with, I have four sheets of paper with each condition marked clearly on them. Okay. So Renelle, this is a 10 centimeter line. Okay. Your task is to draw a line of 10 centimeters but while being blindfolded. In this particular task condition, you will not be given any feedback. Okay. So blindfold the subject securely so that they are not able to cheat and not able to see the paper or the line. Is it tight? Yes. One important tip to remember or precaution to remember is that the subject has to be blindfolded throughout the experiment and ask whether they are left-handed or right-handed. I'm right-handed. Right-handed, okay. So, show me your other hand as well. This is the ruler and this is the pencil, okay? Okay. So, while doing the experiment, please make sure that you don't give the edge of the ruler to the subject because then they can, you know, easily estimate. Another tip is not to give a small ruler because a small ruler is at 12 centimeters and with that, estimating a 10 centimeter line becomes very easy. So, Renel, you have to draw the line 10 times. I'm okay. putting the paper. You can start. Okay, so this is the first line. Draw again. Yeah. So, typically, you're going to be giving the subject to do this task 10 times per condition. For the purpose of the video I'm just going to do it three or four times so as you can see I'm moving the ruler down with every line that Renelle is drawing and it is how you're supposed to do it all right okay you can relax now this was condition one as you saw there was no feedback that was given now an important thing to remember is not to open the blindfold between conditions Okay, the subject is not supposed to see what they have drawn. Now, Renelle is using the ruler horizontally. Sometimes your subject may want to use it vertically and draw lines. That is fine. It does not matter whether the paper or ruler is horizontal or vertical. But remember, once you keep your paper in a particular position, you are not supposed to change it. In this condition, Renelle, your task remains the same. However, after every line, I will tell you whether the line drawn by you is right or wrong. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, you can begin. Okay. So, Renel has drawn a line. I will now measure and I will tell her whether it's right or wrong. It is wrong. So, she's drawing the second line. Now, again, you have to measure and tell the subject whether it's right or wrong. Sorry. It is wrong. It is wrong. Okay, this way. This was condition 2. In this condition, again, you have to actually draw 10 lines. But for the sake of the video, uh, I'm going to move ahead to condition number 3. Then in this condition, I'm going to tell you whether the line drawn by you is longer, shorter or exact. Okay. So 
सो लॉन्गर और शॉर्टर देन टेन सेंटीमीटर्स और टेन सेंटीमीटर्स और शॉर्टर शॉर्ट सो यू हैव टू गिव द फीडबैक आफ्टर एवरी लाइन देन ओनली इट विल मेक सेंस फॉर द सब्जेक्ट टू इम्प्रूव द परफॉर्मेंस शॉर्ट टर्म शॉर्ट टर्म I'll just take some more trials in this condition so Renel can get a practice of what. One moment. Shorter. Okay, wait. So this is condition three. In condition three, you're going to be telling whether the line is shorter, longer, or exact. This also would have three trials. Oh, sorry, ten trials. But I'm going ahead to condition number four. In condition number four. You are going to give, oh sorry, Renel. I am going to give you the exact measurement of the line that you have drawn. Okay. Okay. So let me see. This is eight centimeters. It's important to measure after every line. Okay. This is. Ten centimeters. This is ten point four centimeters. This is ten centimeters. Okay. Ah, uh, I'm going to remove Renel's blindfold now. Okay, as you can see, even with two or three trials per condition, her performance has improved. Okay, so from drawing lines which were initially around about six to seven centimeters, in condition four, she was able to draw a ten centimeter line twice. Okay, this is in four trials. If you take ten trials, there are going to be even more ten centimeter line, and your average is going to be higher. In the meanwhile, let me ask Renel some introspective questions. Okay, uh, which condition was the most helpful? The fourth one. Why was it? Because you were guiding me, and I was able to draw them better with your guidance. Okay, so the exact measurement yes. helped. Okay, so this is um, how the experiment works. With more feedback. the subject is able to you know sort of get an estimate as to how much longer or shorter that they have to draw the line now typically after you have all these four sheets what you have to do is measure each and every line you have to measure the line of the third second first and the fourth condition and you write it out in a tabular form you will have readings of 10 lines okay so what you have to find out is the average for condition 1 coverage for condition 2 average for condition 3 and then condition 4 typically you should have had increase or a decrease 2 set 10 cm so whichever condition is closest to 10 cm that's the condition in which the subject has performed the best ideally that should be condition number 4 because it has the most accurate feedback and With all the other feedback, the subject has improved. Like, uh, if I had to explain for to you condition number three, if you look at it carefully, the lines have increased. Okay, the lines have increased as she has drawn further and further because I kept saying the line is shorter. So with the next line, she drew a little longer. Right. Correct? That's a right. A little longer, a little longer. So each condition, the feedback. that increases the subject's performance is also going to increase and by condition 4 you would have more lines that are 10 cm this is the demonstration of knowledge of results few tips that you need to keep in mind is not to give the edge of the ruler okay blindfold the subject securely and label your papers properly as condition 1 condition 2 condition 3 so you yourself don't get confused um just a few more questions 
are you used to drawing or are you an art like a artist do you draw yes so I do draw you draw and do you like are you good in measurements and stuff like that yes okay so this is something that needs to be taken into account because there are some students or some subjects who don't even understand after you give them feedback so sometimes your hypothesis may get rejected but then it depends whether your subject is able to understand the feedback that you are giving sometimes if there is a person who is not an artist or who doesn't you know do well with geometry they may not understand ki 8 cm hai to phir kitna aage khinchna hai लाइन को उनको समझ में नहीं आता था लाइक वेन आई टोल हर हर फर्स्ट लाइन वॉज एट सेंटीमीटर्स हर इमिजिएट नेक्स्ट लाइन वॉज टेन सेंटीमीटर्स सो शी कुड अंडरस्टैंड दैट ओके इफ दिस वॉज एट हाउ मच फर्दर टिन आई नीड टू गो टू गिव टेन सेंटीमीटर्स सो कीप इन माइंड दैट योर सब्जेक्ट कम्स फ्रॉम डिफरेंट इंटरेस्ट एंड समटाइम्स अ स्टूडेंट इज मोर इंक्लाइन टू ड्रॉइंग और समटाइम्स यू हैव यू नो आर्किटेक्ट्स और इंजीनियर्स हु अंडरस्टैंड मेजरमेंट सो दे मे डू बेटर समटाइम्स अ सब्जेक्ट मे नॉट डू एज वेल सो डोंट बी डिसअपॉइंटेड इफ योर हाइपोथिस इज रिजेक्टेड दे कुड बी रीजन्स यू शुड जस्ट फाइंड आउट वॉट द रीजन्स आर एज टू वाई योर हाइपोथिस इज गॉट रिजेक्टेड I hope watching this demonstration was helpful. Thank you, Thank Ranel, you, and uh, look forward for more videos. Thank you.